because Iran's state media was hit by a cyber attack. The regime says Israel is behind it. On Saturday, hackers disrupted service at the Fars News Agency. That's the state-run agency responsible for Tehran's narrative on the ongoing protests in the country. Fars released a statement late on Friday saying the attack had been a complex operation and removing bugs from the network could take days before normal service is restored. But they added that cyber attacks are launched daily against them by different countries, including Israel. The hacker group Black Reward claimed responsibility for the hack. That's the same group that hacked Iranian nuclear documents in October. This is just the latest, though, in a decades running cyber war between Iran and Israel, where attribution of attacks is often impossible. On Thursday, Iran released footage of the Jerusalem bombing obtained by their own hackers, showing their capabilities. Now, for more on this, we are joined in studio as well by Ariel Osaran. Ariel, we've spoken at length about the shadow war going on, the cyber attacks back and forth between both countries. How significant is hitting the Fars News Agency? Well, the fact that the Fars News Agency was hit, and if you try and go into Fars.ir right now, you won't be able to find any landing site that is significant and that is the same site that's run by Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, as you mentioned, to disseminate uh, messaging surrounding the protest. But I think tying it to Israel is kind of plays into the hands of Iran. That's what that's who they try to to blame and accuse in accounts like this. Uh, as far as Black uh, Reward themselves, they tie themselves to the Iranian hacking community. And I think if we look at the string of recent attacks that they're uh, at least allegedly behind. We're talking about the trove of nuclear data that you described. Also, they hacked into the private email servers of Press TV, uh, the key English-speaking uh, outlet of the regime, for the same reason, to try and undermine messaging coming out from the protests. But I think if we look at this hacking, also included um, posting a very <clears throat> sensitive video of one of the key economic editors of Farce newspaper, him locking the door, putting on a video, and you can imagine what happens next. This is something that is aimed to embarrass the regime, and uh, I think it goes down the line more of uh, pro-Iranian hacktivists rather than specifically the, the ongoing shadow war, uh, security-oriented security shadow war going on between Israel and Iran for many years now mainly in the uh, cybersphere.